Hello everyone, it's Megasan Fjord and today I'm making a review of Samsung Galaxy S10e. As you can see, this is a really nice looking phone. It has a um, 12 megapixel camera on the back. And also you can see that on the front, which is the small one, here it is. Also the phone, it's um, I can say that it's just full hand but it's really nice to hold, you can type it easily. For example, you go to the website, Google Chrome, and you can reach any of keyboard point from any point, so no, uh, it's not like the big screen, so you can reach everything, so that's, that's the good point. And let's see and go to the settings and see how it looks like. So basically, this is in... Um, I'll change the language okay so here we are in the settings and we go to about the phone so here is Samsung Galaxy S10e you can see that here so the version status everything is here okay I'll go back so basically that's a really interesting phone it has two um, you know keys here one big speed but you can once the update comes you will rearrange that and the power button so also what's interesting about the phone let's see actually it doesn't have the fingerprint inner inside here so that's the difference that it has but everything else it looks fine it works fluently here are not so many apps installed we can also run the benchmark, which we, I will do that. And um, more or less, um, the everything looks the same. It's one UI. It has everything turned on. So I will, uh, wow, it's Bixby Routiness. Okay, we will turn everything off and make some benchmark test. Okay, so let's compare Samsung Galaxy S10e and Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and they're all both running on the same one US, one UI and so everything is closed okay. Benchmark is also so let's do that. Okay. Samsung Galaxy SM G970F running Android 9.0. This is Galaxy S9 Plus running Android 9.0. So let's tune and wait for the answers. Actually, S10e is doing a little bit faster, some percentage ahead. So 4% ahead, but I look, it looks like the color is more white and the color here is a little bit different. Now they are the same on percentage. Okay, so looks like SE is finished. So here are the scores. You can see the overview here so so that's quite good around 4.5 thousand single core and two cores doing 9796 while Samsung Galaxy S10 S9 plus has a little bit lower scores but not so bad actually so let's take a look at the both devices for your information so this software information single core yep. and um, that's multi-core and that's it okay let's go to let's head to another benchmark test and put a benchmark okay in three, two, one, go. 
Okay. So we here we are. I'll make some stops. Is it the color looks brighter and more vivid here? Or is it just because of the screen protector that goes instantly to the phone? I don't know guys, but you can see definitely a huge, huge difference. Even though this device is also has, you know, have all the, everything the same setting. But the colors are so different. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, here comes. So it's faster. It's definitely is faster. No 3D test. But the colors are. I don't know. Maybe it's the settings, so I'll check this out, of course, but that's totally different looking. So it's already running and this one is not yet started, so that's very interesting. Let's put it here, just to compare as well the size, you can see. Okay. So much faster. So definitely no lag. Everything looks fine. On both devices, that's interesting, of course. Okay, so SE is finished, so it has now image process blur, processing blur. So definitely, definitely it's much faster. Okay, so now both on 56%. I'll be randomly stopping so that I will skip some of the minutes. Okay, here's the comes the experience. Pretty awesome. Okay, one is finished and another is finished and we here have the res results. Wow, this score as S10E is really impressive. Over 32,000, that's great.